Sometimes a secret can't remain a secret. Am I wrong for cutting my mom off from my private matters because she always tells my sister? I, a 30-year-old woman, have been struggling with my relationship with my mother, who is 56, and my sister Veronica, who is 32, for a while now. The core issue is that my mother constantly spills my personal information to Veronica, which has led me to stop sharing anything personal with her altogether. Recently, I had a health issue that required a minor procedure and a few days of recovery. Given the situation, I needed help with my kids and had no choice but to ask my mom to step in. Before I told her anything, I made it very clear that I did not want Veronica to know about my procedure. I was adamant about my privacy and made it clear that the information was only to be shared with necessary parties and no one else. I trusted my mom to respect that boundary, but I guess I underestimated how much she values Veronica's need to be in the loop. A few days after the procedure, my mom approached me with an angry look on her face. She said, why haven't you told Veronica about your procedure? I was taken aback and said, because I like my privacy and it's not Veronica's business. She seemed to be genuinely upset and argued. But you know Veronica is going to be hurt if you don't include her, she said. To be blunt, I told her, I don't give a flying fuck how Veronica feels about my illness. Veronica has a way of inserting herself into everyone's lives and I don't want her involved in mine. For context, this is not the first time Veronica has overstepped boundaries. Here are a few other instances. A couple of years ago, my husband and I planned a surprise vacation for our kids. We wanted it to be a special family event without any external interruptions. However, before we could even finalize our plans, Veronica found out and insisted on joining us. Despite our clear desire for a private family getaway, she pushed herself into our plans and ended up coming along, much to our frustration. I had a financial issue a while back and I was working through it quietly. Veronica somehow got wind of it and started questioning my financial decisions. She even went so far as to confront my husband about our finances, which was both invasive and inappropriate. Her need to know everything about our personal situation created unnecessary stress and discomfort. When I was looking for a new job, I was keeping it to myself to avoid any unwanted opinions or advice. Despite my efforts to maintain privacy, Veronica somehow found out and began contacting potential employers on my behalf. She wanted to help, but it felt like an intrusion rather than support. Her involvement only added to my anxiety during an already stressful period. Veronica once called me at work on my birthday to wish me a good day, and she asked what the people at work had done for my birthday. I told her nothing, and that I didn't expect anything. Did you take a cake for all of their birthdays? I did, but it didn't mean that I expected one in return. When Veronica hung up with me, she called my boss to remind him it was my birthday. He called me into his office to let me know that while he didn't mind the call, he'd prefer not to get a call like that in the future. I honestly couldn't promise that because Veronica has no boundaries. Given these repeated breaches of privacy, I've reached a point where I can't rely on my mother for support without her involving Veronica. It feels like any personal information I share with my mom ends up being used as fodder for Veronica's need to be in everyone's business. Now I'm wondering if I'm wrong for cutting my mother off as a confidant because I value my privacy over Veronica's need to know everything. My mother's reaction to my refusal to share my health issue with Veronica has made me question if I'm being too harsh or if I'm justified in setting these boundaries. Am I wrong for deciding not to include my mother in my private matters if it means protecting my own privacy from Veronica's interference?